Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So far we have discussed many topics and actually major three topics we discussed. Okay, so the third topic is muscular systems as scaffolds in module 3. So module 3 there are two more major topics we are going to discuss. So mus muscular system as scaffold, skeletal system as scaffold. So muscular systems definitely we are talking about the muscles which will act as scaffold. Now what is scaffold? We have kind of uh, structures uh, which can support a cell attachment or cell growth understanding. So it's like uh, you can say that a network of mesh, mesh kind of network where the cells can be included, uh, incorporated or seeded and these cells can attach and they can form a particular structure. Okay, so your yeah, scaffolds will give the mechanical stress and as well as structural support where the cells can differentiate and divide, differentiate and proliferate and develop a tissue understanding. So that is why it is called as scaffolds. So in order to understand next to two topics, both are related to the scaffolds only, but here two systems we are using that is muscular systems as scaffold and skeletal systems as scaffold. Now speaking about uh, the muscular system and the skeletal system that is different case but we need to know what are scaffolds right. So now we know what are scaffolds. Scaffolds will act as what a kind of a mesh structure or a structure structural network or a network okay where which will act which will give you the structural and mechanical support for cells to attach on the on their surfaces and it will grow okay so that it will give you a kind of mechanical uh, you know support okay so where the cell can uh, attach it seed and then grow uh, cell growth can happen and as the cells are growing dividing and growing then finally it will become a tissue now to get that particular tissue in a particular shape we need scaffolds understanding we are having extracellular matrix as a natural scaffold right we are having for example if our ear should be like this is like this that is because of the the extracellular matrix which is ha having the structure like this so that we are our eyes i mean our uh, ears are like this understanding so every sh different parts of our body has got a particular shape that particular shape requires particular network or you can say the, uh, <coughs> a kind of matrix uh, you know network shape which will give you that particular mechanical strength and as well as structural feature or a property understanding so for this purpose we need scaffolds i mean the, the, this purpose naturally we are having electrocellular matrix which will act as scaffold itself so whereas for the muscular system as scaffold the muscular system as scaffold and skeletal system as a scaffold so two separate topics are there in your syllabus that we will study in this class so introduction in health idai pandre muscular system anna as scaffold agi use maduvantaddu next topic irudu skeletal system as scaffold anta so, e muscular system as scaffold, skeletal system as scaffold are really common in under scaffolds. Now, the scaffolds in under first to know that. So, scaffolds under, that one thora, one do mesh thora, one do network thora ay rathe, one do balle thora anko bodniyo. Adarali cells are na haaki. Now, a cells hege, a cells ki beka giro anta ha mechanical support irbo da, toh structural support irbo do. Adan e scaffolds decide manate. Aita e scaffolds. If one cells are given, a cells a particular shape will be developed. Now, that growth will be there. tissue will be there. Then we scaffolds be there. So naturally, then we ECM is there. Extracellular matrix. That is mechanical strength. That is called the matrix structural strength. That is called the. Okay, na. So we will see. So what is muscular system? As scaffold, uh, we will start the. Uh, PPT. So the use of muscular systems as scaffolds in regenerative medicine is an area of active research and development. So here in this particular topic we are talking about the scaffold okay, and muscular systems used as scaffolds but when we are talking about the muscular systems and skeletal systems are using as a scaffold we should know that this is an active research which is going through in more of most of the R&Ds that is research and development. Now the use of muscular system as scaffolds in regenerative medicine. So especially now we are talking, we, now we told that this uh, particular field is uh, an active research in the particular R&D sectors, right, research and development sectors. In what area, in what, for what applications? The application comes here is a regenerative 
medicine. So what do you mean by regenerative medicine? All of you know about medicine. What do you mean by regenerative medicine? The biology students might be knowing what is regenerative, but what about non-biology students? So medicine all of you know, right? Now generative medicine all of you know, I mean just you can think what is generative. Now regenerative in the sense, uh, we are talking about a particular cells. We want to prepare, regenerate those cells because the particular cells are not missing. Okay, for example, imagine because of the accident, this part of a particular person has gone. Now that part has to be replaced, okay, with the particular regenerative cells, understanding. So to get, in order to get this particular shape of a particular person's tissue, in this particular shape, he has to go for the scaffolds. So scaffolds, he has to make the structures which looks like this, okay, and he has to get the cells which are healthy cells in and around here or from here and insert the cells in the scaffold that is a muscular system in 3D uh, printing of the bones and ears and all we have discussed enough about these topics okay when you introduce in the scaffold the things will start developing the cells will start differentiating and then they will start and finally it will become a tissue now this tissue which is in the form of this mean, now i have got the tissue okay which is nothing but what regenerated tissue understanding that's why it is called as the scaffolds now the scaffold which have been uh, done i mean made that is used in regenerative medicine that means we are using the cells as a therapeutic agents here and which are making as a, which itself will act as a medicine for to create this scaffold and this scaffold is bringing the same structure of this so i am getting my proper face off understanding so this is called this is simple example i have given you that means the use of muscular system the muscle systems as scaffolds in regenerative medicine now you know what is a regenerative medicine in an area is a area of active research in uh, r and sectors okay so illian helta idayappa andre regenerative medicine enu nadanna now first tilkobekagutte so now muscular system anna scaffold agi use madodu re thumbane research and development alli thumba active agi research aagta ide america agabodu athwa us agabodu i mean uh, european countries agabodu athwa japanese countries agabodu thumbane countries galu thumba idr mele development research maartta ide so idralli namge scaffold enandre gottayithu ivaga muscular system anta nimge gottu ella muscular muscles now muscles anna scaffold agi maadi scaffolds inda namge <coughs> regenerative medicine anna illi use agutte now regenerative medicine andre enu ellarigu medicine andre gottu ಜನರೇಟಿವ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಗೊತ್ತು ಏನಾದರೂ ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಆಗುವಂಥದ್ದು ರೀಜನರೇಟಿವ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಹುಟ್ಟಿ ಹಾಕುವಂಥದ್ದು ಈವಾಗ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಒಂದು ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಏನೋ ಆಗಿ ಫೇಸ್ಗೆ ಏನೋ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಫ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ಚರ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುವಂಥ ಮಸಲ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಹೋಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ತೊಳೋಣ ನಾವು ಈವಾಗ ಈ ಥರದ್ದೇ ಮಸಲ್ಸನ್ನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾನೇನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ನಾನೊಂದು ಮಸಲ್ ಇದು ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಒಂದು ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅದನ್ನು ಅಷ್ಟು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಬಿಲ್ಡ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುವಂಥ ಸೆಲ್ಸನ್ನು ತೆಗೆದು ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಕಿ ಆ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಗ್ರೋ ಆಗಿ ಅದು ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಆಗಿ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆದಾಗ ನಮಗೆ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಆ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಅನ್ನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿ ಅದನ್ನು ಮತ್ತೆ ನಾವು ಇದು ವಿದ್ ಸ್ಟಿಚಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸರ್ಜರಿ ಮೂಲಕ ನಾವು ಅದನ್ನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಫಿಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ಅದು ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋದೆ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಯಿತು ಸೆಲ್ಸನ್ನು ನಾವು ರೀಜನ್ರೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ದೀಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ರೀಜನ್ರೇಟೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಥೆರಪಟಿಕ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಥವಾ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ ಥರ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಏನೋ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರೋ ಅಂಥ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಎಲ್ಲದರಲ್ಲೂ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಆ ಥರನೇ ಮಸಲ್ಸನ್ನು ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಮಸಲ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ಸನ್ನು ನಾವು ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಆಗಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ರೀಜನ್ರೇಟಿವ್ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ ಆಗಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಇದು ಒಂದು ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟಿವ್ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಇನ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಆಯಿತಾ ಸೊ ಮಸಲ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಎ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಫೋಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ರೀಜನ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ದೇರ್ ಇನರ್ಟ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಮಸಲ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ದೀಸ್ ಮಸಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ನೋ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಫೋಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಸ
their inert properties what are other properties mechanical properties ability to cell uh, support cell growth and tissue formation okay so why we use why we are having muscles because for mechanical strength right so we are having the mechanical property in muscles and also the muscles can support the cell growth and tissue formations so one example is the treatment of damaged or diseased heart tissue okay any damaged heart is there or tissue uh, heart particular tissue is there then that damaged tissue can be replaced with the new tissue now that new tissue will give act as what scaffold understanding getting my point so illi en helta idare andre second point alli muscles ge kelo ond properties ide ada egg scaffold tara use madlikke anukula agutte yav properties idanna navu regenerative uh, uh, regeneration of tissues ki use madabodu andre tissue anna matte utti hakalikke navu muscles anna use madabodu idu ashte alladane idralli thumba properties ide mechanical property irabodu amale cell growth agu antaha ond environment en beku adu muscles alli ide matte tissue formation aaglikke idu sahaya madutte so idakke ond example kodudadre nimge ond damaged or diseased heart anna takondre adra ಇರುವಂತಹ ಡ್ಯಾಮೇಜ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಅಥವಾ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಅನ್ನ ತೆಗೆದು ಹಾಕಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಈ ಮಸಲ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಅನ್ನ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಕಾಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಆಗಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಮತ್ತೆ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಆ ಮಸಲ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಸಲ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಕಬಹುದು ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ ಮಸಲ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಸೊ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೌ ದ ಮಸ್ಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಕಾಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೊ देयर ಆರ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಸ್ಟಡೀಸ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಸೀ देयर ಆರ್ ಟು ಕೇಸ್ ಸ್ಟಡೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಸೊ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಸ್ಟಡೀಸ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ರಿಸರ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬೀನ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಡ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಮಸಲ್ಸ್ ಮಸಲ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ functional three dimensional scaffold that can be that can support the growth of the new heart tissue so first case study we are talking about heart tissue to create new heart tissue that means regenerative medicine again okay so what they are in the, in the particular researchers have succeeded they have created a three dimensional scaffold of muscle systems which is functional okay for what purpose to support the growth of the new tissues new heart tissue okay so that was uh, the successful one of the study so in this approach muscle cells are harvested from the up patient how it is done how the uh, this particular case is done so initially they harvested means they have extracted the muscle cells from the heart a patient's heart okay and then seeded into the scaffolds that means scaffolds the network as i told you the seeded okay that means they have put cells inside this uh, uh, muscle matrix or you can call it as a muscle as a scaffold now these particular the seeded cells okay uh, started growing and then finally it became a heart tissue okay so here what are these particular uh, scaffolds with, uh, where, uh, for uh, the seeding purpose they have used is a hydrogel or artificial matrix so make sure that it should be a network that's it okay that scaffold in the sense it should be a network it can be the hydrogel or a artificial network so here in this case study they have used a hydrogel or artificial matrix they both they have used so for what you have to do initially you take take out the cells from the that particular patient and then seed it on to the scaffold now such particular the scaffolds can be you can use hydrogel or artificial matrix now the scaffold provides a framework of the cells that means it will give you the framework company how the heart cells if it is a valve it should be like a valve if it is uh, you know the the capillaries it should be like capillaries understanding so now the scaffold provides the framework of the cells okay to grow and as well as differentiate into the heart tissue now the scaffold is providing the uh, you know environment where when the cells have been added to it so the cells can divide and differentiate and then it will start growing and finally it will give a particular tissue whatever the structure you want it to be because you have already decided by creating the three dimensional scaffold which is done by the muscular systems understanding so illi en helta idare ondu case study one ralli researchers ondu successful story anna illi na helthe adakke na case study anta heltevi so avaru en madidare kelavondu research group avaru 3d scaffold anna create madidare yen use madkondo muscle system anna use madkondo ad enagide adu functional andre kelsa maartta ide so yenagi kelsa maartta ide adr kelsa enappa andre ಇದು ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಗ್ರೋ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅವರು ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಇದು ಕೇಸ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಒನ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ ಆಗಿ ಹೊಸ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಅನ್ನ ನಾವು ಜನರೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ರಿಸರ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಜನರೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಸೊ ಇದು ರೀಜನರೇಟಿವ್ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ ಆಗಿ ಅಪ್ರೋಚ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರು ಹೇಗ್ ಹೇಗ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರಪ್ಪ ಇದನ್ನ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಈ ಹೆಲ್ತಿ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಇದು ಆ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ 
ಮತ್ತೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಕಿ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಅಥವಾ ಆರ್ಟಿಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಆ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಕಿ ಇದು ಮಸಲ್ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಆ ಮಸಲ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಇದಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಒಂದು ಫ್ರೇಮ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಕೊಡುತ್ತೆ ಏನಕ್ಕೆ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಕೊಡುತ್ತೆ ಸೆಲ್ಲು ಗ್ರೋ ಆಗೋಕ್ಕೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಟ್ ಆಗೋಕ್ಕೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಅದು ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಗೋಕ್ಕೆ ಈ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಹಾಗೆ ನಾವೇನು ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಈ ಡ್ಯಾಮೇಜ್ಡ್ ಅಥವಾ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಇದು ಅದನ್ನು ನಾವು ರಿಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ವಿತ್ ಅ ನ್ಯೂ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಓಕೆ ವಿಚ್ ವಿಲ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಅ ರೀಜನ್ರೇಟಿವ್ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಯ್ತಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ಕೇಸ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಟೂ ಸೊ ಅನದರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ಈಸ್ ದ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಕೆಲೆಕ್ಟಲ್ ಮಸಲ್ ಇಂಜುರೀಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಲೈಕ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸ್ಕೆಲೆಟಲ್ ಮಸಲ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಮಸಲ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಕೆಲೆಟಲ್ ಮಸಲ್ ಇಂಜುರೀಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಆಸ್ ದೋಸ್ ಕಾಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಟ್ರಾಮಾ ಆರ್ ಅ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ಈವನ್ ದ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈ ಸಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟ್ರಾಮಾ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಕೆಲೆಟಲ್ ಮಸಲ್ ಇಂಜುರೀಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಟು ಟ್ರೀಟ್ ದಟ್ we are okay there is one more uh, the case study is uh, been done and it was succeeded so again they have got success uh, success in this so in this case what they have done the muscle cells can be harvested the muscle cells again it can be harvested seeded onto the scaffold again same procedure seeded onto the sca- uh, scaffold so which can be then implanted into the damaged muscle cell wherever the skeletal muscle injuries are there no there you go and just damage just implant it okay Ah, which will so this particular damaged whatever implanted muscle uh, scaffold is there now that will give you that will promote the growth of the new and functional tissue so finally once the new cells has been done so that will be degraded automatically because these are uh, since muscles have been it is the scaffold all are nothing but biodegradable and biocompatible those properties are there as the new generation new muscles is generating this will start degrading understanding so once it is shape is formed come forth you can either remove or it will degrade by itself understanding the case study 2 so case study 2 alli en helta idivi anpa andre illi alli na heart tissue bage maatadutidivi illi na skeletal cell uh, muscle injuries bage maatadta idivi so usually ee skeletal muscle injuries yavaga agutte andre one one uh, particular person no trauma dali idre athwa ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ರೆ ಆ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಇದು ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಈ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕೊಡಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಈ ಕೇಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ನೀವು ಒಂದು ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ನೀನು ಹಾರ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀಯಾ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆ ಪೇಶೆಂಟ್ ಇಂದ ತಗೋತೀಯ ಮತ್ತೆ ಅದೇ ತರ ಹಿಂದೆ ಕೇಸ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಒನ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರಲ್ಲ ಅದೇ ತರ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಕ್ತೀಯ ಆವಾಗ ಆ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಗ್ರೋ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಅದು ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಇದನ್ನ ಈ ಹಾರ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಈ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಇರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಅದನ್ನ ತಗೊಂಡು ಹೋಗಿ ನಾವು ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಡ್ಯಾಮೇಜ್ ಆಗಿರ್ತಲ್ಲ ಈ ಸ್ಕೆಲೆಟಲ್ ಮಸಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತೇವೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇಂಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತೇವೆ ಸೊ ಅದು ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಗ್ರೋತಿಗೆ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಫೈನಲಿ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಲ್ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ನಮಗೆ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ okay so while the use of muscular systems as scaffold is still in the experimental stage it holds a great promise of the treatment of variety of conditions okay it represents area of active research and development in the field of regenerative medicine so here what they are selling is so use of this muscular system is still obviously in the developmental stage or you can say that it is in experimental stage which is been trying uh, successful in, uh, in trying on uh, animals now they are doing in the clinical uh, st- uh, research so but even though it is in the experimental stage it has got a great potential you know application in the coming days or coming years okay so where it will represent uh, that itself is a proof that it's a area of active research is nothing but what it itself is a proof that it is gaining more more and more successful rates understanding so ill en helta idevo andre now ee muscular muscles systems anna use maadkondu scaffold madodrinda regenerative medicine alli thumbane ondu advantages applications irva sadhyatigalive even though in the experimental stage alli idru saha idrudu impact enidella adu thumbane ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದೆ ಅದರದ್ದು ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ಫುಲ್ ರೇಟ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇದೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಇದು ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಏರಿಯಾ ಆಫ